Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So undefeated WBC American heavyweight champion Deontay LeBron's bomber Wilder in his recent interview blasts undefeated British lineal heavyweight champion Tyson the Gypsy King Fury for Tyson Fury's latest comments. Deontay Wilder had this to say, quote, he's a big coward. He made a bunch of excuses to avoid the rematch. He ran to another network with another promoter and avoided the rematch. Now, how dare he uh, make the claims that he's making, stating that you know uh, he would take he would take because of the latest claims. Tyson Fury claimed that he'll he'll take Deontay the Barnes Bomb and Wilder to court uh, should he attempt to go and face the winner of um, Anthony Joshua and Andrew Ruiz highly anticipated rematch December seventh, right? Uh, Deontay Wilder claimed, uh, said that he wanted, he was thinking about, you know, going the route of facing the winner of that fight for Undisputed. Tyson Fury then did an interview in which he stated that if Deontay Wilder attempts to do so, he has legal obligations that he has to attest to. And if he doesn't abide by them, he will be going to court and will be being sued. Deontay Wilder says that he had the opportunity to face me for the rematch and now he wants to stand in the way of undisputed, right? He says he had uh, numerous opportunities for the rematch, but yet he chose to make up a bunch of excuses to go in a different direction. And now, uh, because he was afraid, and now he's claiming that I'm the one that don't want the rematch, right? So Deontay Wilder is saying that, you know, um, Tyson Fury, you know, uh, is, is, a, is a big um, showman, right? He's a jokester. He said, it's all fun and games when you're dealing with Tyson Fury, right? He says, but when it's no fun and games when the rabbit, uh, when the shoe is on the other foot, okay? So he's stating that, you know, uh, Tyson Fury thinks it's all fun and games when he's playing games with, with you, right? But once when the shoe is on the other foot, he don't think it's funny. Now he wants to resort to uh, uh, taking Deontay Wilder um, to court should Deontay Wilder, you know, um, about face on the on the um, fight that he agreed to February 22nd uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Right. Uh, so Deontay Wilder um, and Tyson Fury have an agreement to face off against one another. February 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, 20, 2020. Right. So. Um, Deontay Wilder is, is, is saying that, you know, Tyson Fury pretty much left him at the altar, right? Tyson Fury left Deontay Wilder at the altar. Tyson, Tyson Fury had the opportunity for a rematch that Deontay Wilder signed his part. Everybody was on board. They were just waiting for Tyson Fury's John Hancock. And guess what? Tyson Fury chose to go a different route. He a bow face. He left him at the altar, right? And now Deontay Wilder saying, well, you know what? Now it's looking like there's a strong possibility that I could fight for Undisputed and maybe Tyson Fury needs to, to take a step aside money. You know, sit on the sidelines, sit this one out. As Tyson Fury uh, previously stated that right after the rematch, uh, right after the fight with Deontay Wilder, when the rematch was talked about, Tyson Fury said maybe he'll just sit it out, let Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua settle their differences you know, uh, then go in and fight the winner for Undisputed. And so Tyson Fury did just that. But what he did was he left Deontay Wilder hanging. See, so he waited till the last minute and then he, he changed his mind, went in a different direction, therefore leaving Deontay Wilder to scramble for another opponent in which Deontay Wilder just chose to go the route of facing his uh, mandatory challenger in Dominic Brazil for the WBC belt. You know, so he settled his mandatory. Since Tyson Fury left him at the altar, they were supposed to fight in May. And now Tyson Fury is stating that, you know, uh, if Deontay Wilder looks to fight for Undisputed, I'm gonna take him to court. 
So Ty Deontay Wilder said he's the coward. Who's he's a big clown and a coward who who loves nothing but to play jokes on people. But don't like when the jokes is on him. So I can't wait to see how this plays out. Uh, my thoughts is this. If Andy Ruiz Jr., who's the current unified Mexican heavyweight champion in the world, wins the fight against Anthony Joshua, uh, who's the former unified British heavyweight champion, right? December 7th, should Andy Ruiz defeat Anthony Joshua, I can see Deontay Wilder pushing for the undisputed with Andy Ruiz. But now should Anthony Joshua win that fight, I can see Deontay Wilder go ahead, just go ahead and uh, push forward with the already scheduled Tyson Fury fight. Reason being is because Anthony Joshua and his promoter, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn have recently come out and said that they're not gonna entertain Deontay Wilder should they beat Andy Ruiz. I don't think that they, they're, they're trying to push it off on Deontay Wilder to say, well, why does he want Undisputed now when he could have had it before? But leading up into the Andy Ruiz fight, Anthony Joshua said he had his mind set on nothing but Deontay Wilder and Undisputed. Now Anthony Joshua has since retracted and said that Undisputed will always be there. He's not going to chase it. He's going to take his time. See, after that defeat, there's a lot of fear in the eyes of these guys, right? They don't feel like they, they're not confident that he could beat Deontay Wilder. They want confident building fights. They had to go the route of facing uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. in the rematch because they would look bad on him, right? Especially if Andy Ruiz would have went the route of facing Deontay Wilder should Anthony Joshua not have activated the rematch clause, that would have looked bad on Anthony Joshua. So they're going ahead, they're going to go ahead and gamble and uh, see how this all plays out. And hopefully, they're hoping that hopefully Anthony Joshua comes out victorious. Then they're going to go on a uh, uh, um, rebuild Anthony Joshua um, campaign and have him fight guys. Uh, the most dangerous guy he'll face in his next two fights will be Kubat Pulif. Is a fight that he has to accept because he's a mandatory for one of his belts. And he doesn't want to have to vacate the belt. So he'll go ahead and settle uh, uh, um, and satisfy the mandatory with Kubat Pulif since Bob, and especially Bob Arum says he's going to push for that. They're not going to take step aside money, you know. Uh, they're they're willing to go to court as well, right? So with that said, you could expect to see Anthony Joshua face Kubrat Pulev should he be victorious, and then he's going to uh, fight a light touch uh, opponent. Don't be surprised if you see Anthony Joshua against a Joe Joyce after Kubrat Pulev, especially if or a uh, Jarrell Big Baby Miller, right? which is, you know, a slightly dangerous fight for them that I don't know if they're too happy about taking that fight, attempting to have that fight, right? But they, they're gonna go on a campaign to rebuild and get trying to build up John, Anthony Joshua's confidence once again. So they're not gonna go the route of Deontay Wilder. And so with that said, Deontay Wilder might as well go ahead and, and settle his differences with Tyson Fury. And then, you know, after that, press Anthony Joshua up against the corner once again for Undisputed. But I can't wait to see how this all unfolds because this is all exciting for the heavyweight division. It's all exciting. I can't wait to December 7th. I can't wait to November 23rd, which is most likely going to be the date that Deontay Wilder and Luis uh, King Kong Ortiz um, renew their rivalry in the rematch November 23rd in Las Vegas, Nevada. And just a short few weeks later, you'll get Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz in their highly anticipated rematch. Uh, this Saturday, less than 48 hours, you're gonna get Tyson and Gypsy K. Fury in the ring back again against a well unknown opponent. I said well, wellly unknown because nobody knows who Otto Wallen is. That's the, gonna be the next opponent for Tyson Fury this upcoming Saturday, uh, September 14th. So this heavyweight division is exciting, it's booming, you know, um, it's at an all-time high right now in quite some time. So let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. 
D B C. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sports.